Hello students good morning we shall today study in history first chapter of history is when where and how in eighth class you have to study the modern period of india you have studied in class 6 the ancient period of india and you have in class 7 the medieval period of india today you have to see that when ancient india period starts in india you have studied in class 6 the earliest from the earliest period to 8th century you have studied in class 6 from earliest period to 8th century it means that when the arabs the arabs came to india then it signals the coming of the next the middle ages in india you know that in 7th class you have studied from 8th century to 18th century it means that from 7th century 8th century you see that there were muslim invasions turk invasion afghans invasion all the invasions marked the beginning of middle ages in india they also conquered and established muslim rule in india then modern period starts from 18th century to 21st century 18th century you know that in 1707 after death of aurangzeb india divided into a small parts of country all the territories all the rulers who were fighting struggling against each other and the british took advantage of this situation of disunity and they slowly captured india they start from battle of palasi battle of baksar then they were able to conquer india slowly and successfully now we shall study the sources of modern period in india you know that there are sources of materials are available in abundance means plenty of sources are here for studying the modern period of india these sources are grouped into two parts first primary sources it is original sources like official records there are many official records in india during the british period the british had official rooms to preserve the records day to day records day to day decisions now second point in primary sources is surveys the britishers surveys means uh, they study the geographical factors in india they also surveyed about botanical geological and forest surveys these surveys are also the good sources of information for the modern period in india now the british also established many buildings in india these are grouped into monuments first you know that the british made the gateway of india in bombay second they built the india gate they also built parliament house for viceroy now president of india lives in it again they built victoria memorial in kolkata 
they also built the prince of wales museum these are the sources for the modern period again unofficial sources unofficial sources are the account of common people means common people of india also wrote about the modern period in those times these are the grouped into unofficial sources for modern history now secondary sources it means second hand accounts of events it means that these are the second hand information because you know that anand math is the novel written by bankim chand chatterjee and you know that in anand math bande matram is the song the national song of india it also very inspired people of india to fight the british they the indians hanged they were hanged by the british but they have no problem in sacrificing their lives by telling bande matram bharat durdasha is written by bhartendu harshandra great hindi writer these are very good sources of history of india because they gave the cruel nature of the british in india now poverty and and british rule in india by dada bhai noroji who was a great nationalist great liberal leaders in india they give the vivid picture of the true nature the cruel nature of the british in india who were involved in draining of wealth from india again neel darpan written by deen bandhu mitra he also wrote about the in it the plantation workers indigo plantation workers very bad, bad position in champaran later gandhi ji started champaran movement in india to relieve the people of bihar bengal from the cruel nature of the british now you see the films like lagan shahid bhagat singh and mangal pande also you have seen the film on mahatma gandhi by richard these are the records for the second source of material so we have many plenty of records sources for the modern period of india we shall now next period study expansion of british in india thank you